Yes, yes. Nothing. We're not going to miss anything. <laughs> Owen? Oh, right. Yeah. Owen Brown, right? Yes, yeah. Owen Brown. All right. Mr. So Prime Minister, this is Owen Brown. Owen. Oh, yeah. nice Good. Nice. Roots Radio Station, he will give you a quick two minutes. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome to Station 6.1 FM. We are 20 years old here in the inner city. Um, before we started, the question was, should this community have a radio station or a newspaper? And the community said, guess what, we need a radio station because that's how we can get our views heard. And because of that, we have broadcasters from within the community, community broadcasters, that they would do programs in the week, um, depending on what the issue is in the community, they would actually have it on air, persons would call in and also share their views. Because we're a part of the Mustasi community, we actually have a special program called Extraordinary Abilities, and that's, that just deals with persons with disabilities. So it talks about various disabilities, how persons can cope with it, what are the, the issues that persons face with disabilities, and we also have someone that has a disability producing and hosting that program. So we actually include up those persons in our broadcasting and also in our operations here at Roots 96 So, you know, we're here, we're here for the community, and we're here for the inner city. What's the thing, the tagline, the voice it's of the... The voice of the inner city. The yes, voice of the inner city. city. Inner city. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's amazing that you have managed to uh, produce the quality of programs that you do, um, integrate the community into it, and that you have survived the mm -hmm. economic ravages for 20 years. Yes. Um, media landscape is, yep. as you know, has gone through several major shakeups, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you know, Roots FM continues to, uh, to survive. The only community station that has, right. that has survived. Yes, 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 yes. yes. But um, your model is a is an excellent model, and, and you know, we are here to study this ecosystem because it's, it's clear that um, Father Rampisun has carefully thought out mm -hmm. how to integrate the provision of the, the service of care right. but on the back end without that being forward facing in any way providing the economic support um, and have those support as well not just providing financial wherewithal but makes it more meaningful. So you have persons with disability participating in this endeavor, participating in the pottery and all the other things. And I'm certain uh, Father Ampisun told me that he, he sells eggs. Yeah, so obviously yeah. obviously you're, you have some layers somewhere. In Spanish now. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. Amazing. Quick look at the studio. Right. And then you can. Oh, yeah. Did you play one of my favorite songs? I know it. <laughs> Your mercy, whatever well, I have to raise my hand. I've been here in a while. You've been here before? Wonderful. Can we, can we have a ask you? Can we have you on that side for a minute? Uh, why not? I just, oh, what we need to save Afternoon, Isis. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good to be here. Good to be with good people. Right. And guess what? I was not aware that you have been here before, so I am so happy to know that you are. This is your second visit. And um, what, what, what is it wrong with you? A lot of people have been asking, why is the Prime Minister coming to Roots Affair? Why is the Prime Minister coming to the Mustard Seed community? Why well, listen, you, you, the Mustard Seed community is doing great work. And uh, it should come to the attention of the country. And uh, the prime minister of the country, whoever that person is, yes. um, has a duty to ensure that when good work is being done, that the sacrifice and the commitment of those persons are recognized. Yes. And uh, so I'm here to recognize you and, you so and to you. commend you um, and uh, encourage you to continue. But it is also good to reward good work Yes. So I do come bearing limited gifts, but gifts nonetheless. Yes. Uh, hopefully it will... <laughs> but listen, you know, yeah. it is the season yes, to spread time. cheer. And um, that's part of the, the reason I'm here. But I'm also here on a fact-finding mission. I'm, I'm here with members of the 
parliamentary backbench. I have Juliet Cuthbert. Come and say hi, Juliet. Hello, everyone. Hello. I have Leslie Campbell, who's here as well. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to Roots FM. And I have Dr. Andrew Wheatley here as well. All right. Big up Roots. <laughs> so we're, we're here to, to, you know, a part of the government's mandate is to spread the prosperity. I mean, clearly, from what we've seen this Christmas, the economy is booming. People are out shopping. I, I gather it's a record-breaking season. That's true. Um, but, you know, prosperity just, just doesn't happen randomly or by chance. It has to be planned. Uh, the, the wealth and the prosperity will not just trickle down. You have to literally manage that process to ensure that there is fairness yes. in growth. So the economy will grow, but we don't want it to grow and leave some people behind. So we recognize the importance of social enterprise in ensuring equity in the society. Uh, and so we are studying what you are doing here. How do you manage to deliver the services you deliver um, and, and, and do it in a way that's sustainable? Uh, and uh, from what we have seen, the first thing is that you have created an ecosystem. Yes. So you are engaged in economic enterprise. Um, but economic enterprise which uh, supports uh, and complements the services that, that you give. Uh, but we, we want to study that. How can we get, for example, more persons with disabilities um, into the working world? How do we get them employed? What are the incentives that we would need to give? And how do we get businesses? to start thinking more about their corporate social responsibility beyond sponsorship and, and support social enterprise. So it's it's good, you know. I mean, I've seen the work that you're doing, and I'm, I'm impressed, and I want to thank you. Um, you are really and truly doing the work of God. Absolutely, and we thank you also for coming in with your fact-finding mission as well, because that is also going to help and complement the work that we're doing. It's Mustard Seed's 40th anniversary as well. Really? It's very appropriate that you're coming at this time, and of course, Roots of Time's 20th anniversary, so once again, we know that you have a very busy schedule, so we're not going to push it now. No, that's fine. That's fine. I'm quite at ease here, and I'll spend the whole day with you. Thank you so much, Kevin. All right, keep, keep praying for us. Yes, and keep honoring the name of God. That is a That is that it would cost the government itself to deliver. So one of the things clearly from this trip is that we need to have far more partnerships with faith-based institutions. Definitely so. Because you're giving the service with care, right? And, you know, with a, a more deliberate way of trying to ensure that people get the service. There's greater care and concern about the use of resources. Um, yeah, from a commercial perspective. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, there, there, there seems to me to be an, an opening for government to, you know, in its own plans to restructure and resize. But there are services that you could basically contract out to faith-based yes. institutions, social enterprises to deliver, and we have to figure out how that model <coughs> would work because it would be beneficial for us, beneficial for you, and beneficial for the government, and certainly beneficial for the people who would be utilizing the service. But keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.